sure we can trust these guys? Yeah, man, they checked out. I don't know, man. I never worked with them before. You know Mendoza? His cousin's dad's buddy from Nam? He's my contact. He's solid. I guess so. Just being careful, you know? Ever since Helsinki... Man, you gotta let that go. That was a fluke. A fucking freak accident of nature. We lost a lot of good guys. Sure, man. It was a goddamn tragedy. I just think we need a more thorough... For fuck's sake! It was ten fucking years ago! I'm tired of hearing about fucking Helsinki. You don't have to be so defensive. I didn't even want to do that job. I told them it was a stupid fucking idea. I told them, don't do it. There's too much heat. But they had to be big shots. My hands were fucking tied. I don't know, man. Some people have other ideas. Helsinki, Helsinki. Fuck Helsinki! Do we know who these guys are? Garden variety thugs. Low on the food chain. Definitely not Mendoza's crew. How can you tell? Do they look Mexican to you? Any chance they got legitimate business going on down there? Legitimate business? Like what? I don't know. Boxes of Cracker Jacks or personal stereos that they paid for? Fuck no. Whatever they're up to, it's illegal. Look at those fucking guys. Fucking scumbags. I just don't want a repeat of what went down in Dogtown last year. Fuck. That was a goddamn setup. Bad intelligence and all that fucking pressure from the brass. And then, they whitewashed the whole thing by screwing the grunts who got stuck doing the dirty work. Cocksuckers! Settle down, cocks. Settle this, asshole! I had public toilet duty in Needle Park for a fucking year! Sorry I asked. Sorry my ass. You just gotta put me in my place, don't you? Fucking Dogtown? Give me a fucking break. Wait. Mendoza just came out. Freeze! Don't fucking move. Well, what do we have here, gentlemen? A scumbag party? Uh, no, sir. We were just moving some boxes. Had them stored here. Bullshit! You have the right to remain silent because anything you say is likely to be so fucking stupid that I get angry and put six in your fucking torso. You feel me? Yes, sir! I mean, Shut ma'am! Shut the fuck up, you whiny bitch! Yes? So... Can I go now? Because I got a doctor's appointment, and I was just saying hi to these guys, and I, I don't have anything to do with this. Oh. What? The only place you are going is either prison or hell. Which one is it going to be, you putrid sack of felonous shit? Well, I... Guess... Shut it, punk! Well, what do we have here? What is this? Uh -oh. oh shit. Streets are safer with punks like you behind bars. But what did we do? Oh. When I want a stupid question, I'll fucking ask for it! Cox, no! found guilty of second-degree murder with extreme prejudice. Unfortunately, in my opinion, there's not a sentence long enough or a punishment harsh enough for the crime you've committed. And furthermore, and this will go in my summary opinion, 
This is the most egregious miscarriage of justice I've encountered in my 20 years on the bench. You have set the criminal justice system back decades with your actions. You swore an oath to protect and serve, young lady, and at this you have failed! I take pleasure in knowing that the criminals whose rights you have violated will get to have their way with you in prison for the rest of your pathetic fucking life! Get her the fuck out of my court! <laughs>